Hi, this is Mike Johnson. I'm taking you on an inside and outside video tour of this 2013 Thor Windsport Motorhome. Extremely clean and nice motorhome. Take you on a full walk around of it. Then we're going to get up at close, look in the storage, look inside, show you how everything is working, go all around it. got the outside shower, it's got color backup camera, V5 towing package with a 7 pin connector, a lot of brake lights, it's got LED brake lights on it, makes you easy to see so people won't be running into you. It's got the mega storage compartment in the right rear so you can keep all your camping stuff in here. And it's deep, so you can put your folding tables in here. Store your tables and chairs and so forth inside your storage compartment. It's got a second uh, pass-through compartment. Let me see if it's this one. Not that one. But it's a nice big storage. And then the wheels. Glossy, shiny, clean. A lot of tire tread. Maybe this one is a pass through. Yes. Pass through to the other side. Eight foot deep. And we have a power awning. So if you, and there's a very large awning. So I just hit the switch in the driver's door and I can open up my power awning. Not like the old RVs where you had to get sticks out and it takes a long time to set those old ones up. But this one with just a couple seconds, you just reach in here right next to the driver's compartment here you got your little power awning switch roll it back in or even put it up higher I'm gonna leave it there for now for filming purposes this is a very glossy and shiny motorhome it's got a mirror finish exterior the awning fabric is in great condition and I mentioned you have side view cameras. You have great visibility on this motorhome. You've got the wide convex towing mirror, power heated aiming straight mirror, and you've got a side view camera in the side of the mirror. Um, so when you turn on your target signals, you can access your side view cameras. And right here we have a uh, corner window. So if there's someone sitting here, they can peek down. And there's a lot of tire tread on these tires. Try to show you the tires with the on the sunny side. Glossy one piece windshield. There's no center bar in the windshield. Again, we have the side view camera over here on the mirror, and then your white convex power aiming mirrors. In the main slide out, we have corner windows. So when you open this slide out next to a beautiful river or next to the beach or wherever you want to go you've got a panoramic panoramic view of the beautiful outdoors you got uh, enclosed storage so all your water tanks are inside the body they're all inside here where they stay nice and warm so you can go to cold weather conditions and not have to worry so much about your tanks freezing up it's very nicely done. The holding tanks and the fresh water tanks are all indoor. You have all the hookup hardware. You have a hose. You have a power cord. And notice how these have clips to hold them in the upright position. So it's easy to hook up and unhook at the campground. We do have an outside shower. If I get my key out, let's have a look. I have always got a lot of requests 
to see the outside shower. So we've got a hose here. I'm trying to do this one-handed, but you can clean off your feet at the beach so you wash all the sand off. You got hot and cold running water. If you're out riding dirt bikes or something, you can clean all the mud and dirt off before you go inside. It has the outside shower, it has a 12, uh, a 50 amp power cord connector, and this has a fast fill for the water tanks. Not all RVs have this, but you have a quick fill point. So you directly fill your water tank from the outside. It only takes a few minutes. Some of the other lesser RVs, you have to sit there and flip valves around. Not this one, you stick the garden hose in there, fill it to the top, and you're full of fresh water and ready to go. Very quick. The front and rear caps are very glossy and shiny. You do have a roof access ladder. Let's take a look at the towing package here. We'll get the camera in the right angle here. And seven pin connector. So you can hook up your trailer stuff and that's your V5 towing package. That's pretty much the heaviest duty you can get on a motorhome is the V5. So 5,000 pound vehicle or 500 pound vertical weight on the tongue for towing. Let's get ready to go inside, but before I do, I, I want, promised I'd show you the rear tires. Rear tires are really good condition. We'll show more underneath on the end of the video about the chassis inspection and so forth. Now, let's go on to the inside and take a look. So let's go in and take a look inside this 32A. Now this is set up right now for sleep and then I'm going to put the beds away but I want to show you right away. It has dual queen beds, your rear, your front queen bed air mattress can easily sleep two adults. In the back you have the rear queen bed and then you have the oversized dinette. This can accommodate six people fairly easily. It's a much larger dinette in this floor plan. And you could take the table apart, put it down, and turn it into a bed which could fit up to two people. But five people, pretty comfortable. Four people, very comfortable. Six people, pretty comfortable. But there is enough room if you have a, another uh, air mattress from like home uh, Target or somewhere or Amazon you have room for an additional air mattress on the floor over here if somebody wanted to sleep down there. They have the nice ones that are tall now. So as we go back to the bedroom take a look back here. Your rear queen bed. You have wooden privacy door. Not the flimsy paper curtains to make privacy but the real door and it's got a door handle it's not a fan, uh, complicated lock. It's real easy to open or close. You've got your pier wall slide out headboard with storage overhead. You've got the nice shades that you can close. You've got a nice headboard uh, built here. This escape window in case there's a fire in the kitchen. You can come out this way but uh, most people are pretty careful. A lot of wardrobe space. A double door wardrobe cabinet on the left and a, sig a single drawer wardrobe cabinet on the right. You've got a place to hang your hangers right here. You've even got light in here that you can turn on to see what you're doing. Adjustable shelves in the bottom which means you could hang trench coats in here or you can adjust the shelves at various heights there's a adjustable shelf height you've got roller guide uh, drawers that open and this is full extending drawer hardware they pull all the way out they look like brand new inside they're not all trashed 
very good condition. The floor is excellent going all the way around. It's been cleaned professionally by housekeeping service and by a vehicle detailer. So it's ready to go. You've got a bedroom TV up here, flat panel TV snuck in there. You've got a nice storage if you have direct TV or Blu-ray players or laptops, computers or whatever you want to put. You've got a little workstation where you can sit in the bedroom and do your work. This, this RV has dual air conditioners with a 50 amp power cord. So you've got a bedroom AC unit and a front AC unit. You've got wall mounted light switches. Some people have trouble reaching the ceiling. And for those you have these wall mounted light switches which make it easy to turn the lights on and off. So we're going to walk through and show the kitchen and put this back. I think I should show you that this is a, a air mattress has its own built in pump. So I can deep suck it the air out or suck the air in. It's electrically operated. It plugs into the wall outlet. It'll suck that air right out. It does come with a backup battery powered pump in case you're dry camping and you can't run the generator for some reason because of quiet time or whatever. But you see it's sucking the air right out of it. It inflates or deflates in seconds. So this front air bed, you can put it away or open it up in just moments. It goes in this zipper pouch. It has a zipper and the, the mattress fits in there. You just flip it over like so. Fold the legs down. And then it rocks into sofa position. And there you go. Now you're ready to uh, hit the road. The bed is put away. It took less than five minutes to do it. So time saver. And it's pretty comfortable, a lot comfortable, a lot bigger and a lot more comfortable than a lot of uh, sleeping arrangements in a lot of other RVs. So going on to the kitchen, this does have the Corian countertop. You've got the uh, pull-out cutting board, roller guide drawers. The drawers in the are in very good condition. have a little bit of this and that in there but Corian countertop and now you have sink covers over here just put it in position hot and cold running water right here and it has a pull out rinse wand we're just using our onboard water supply right now and then you need more counter space you put the Corian sink covers back on it does have a three burner cooktop so they light right away you're ready to cook usually you only need one unless you're really ambitious but you have three just in case this does have an LP gas oven with a gas oven for some people is an extremely big deal for others they'll never use it and the reason it's a big deal is if you want to use a microwave, you have to be running the generator or plugged in to cook. But the oven can bake without using the generator. It just uses the onboard propane gas. Um, some campgrounds, like in state and national parks in more remote areas, have curfews, which you're not allowed to use a generator after 8 p.m., in those situations, if you arrive late, you won't be able to cook with the generator, so you have to have an oven. And for some people, that's a big deal. Me and my wife, we like to go to the full hookup campground, so it's really never an issue, and we never use the LP gas oven on any of the RVs I've test-driven. But you have the oversized microwave oven. It's a much larger residential size microwave oven. It's not the little teeny microwave. With the wind sport, you get the bigger, better microwave oven with smart cooking. It works really good. I did use it. I bought this motorhome in Florida and drove it to California. So I drove several thousand miles in here and I put everything through its paces. 
The refrigerator is nice and clean. I have it off, but it does get cold. It does work perfectly. It's been pro professionally cleaned by a home housekeeping service. They've gone through and sanitized and made sure it's clean so it doesn't have any odors and it gets cold f quite quickly. I had my ice and everything in here for my trip. It worked very well. You have a pull out pantry compartment here. So it's locked right now, but you can unlock it and you can keep your dry food goods like uh, chips and canned food and so forth in your pantry area. Additional storage overhead. Additional storage underneath. Now, when you look under the sink, I have my camera in here, but it's nice and clean under the sink. It's nice and clean in the drawers. It's not someone who stayed in here for three years. It's in excellent condition. We've got HDTV. We've got additional storage overhead. There's various books and manuals in the RV. Lights everywhere. And you've got this extra deep slide out. So the slide out has the corner windows. Not all of them do. Not, of them, not all of them extend this far. This is my big long arm. This is about a 36 to 32 to 36 inch slide extension. Some slides only go out about 12 to 18 inches, but this is a big, deep slide out. So it really opens up the room with a slide open. It makes a big difference. Let me stop blinding us with the movie light in. So up in the front, the seats swivel around, the front seats swivel around so you can make use of them when you're at the campsite and the drivers is set up so you can actually swivel around despite the steering wheel which on a lot of motorhomes they will not swivel around because the steering wheel is in the way but this one does you'll have to test every single motorhome this one actually does let's show you you gotta jockey the arm now it's ready to drive it actually clears the steering wheel because very few motorhomes the driver's seat will actually clear the steering wheel and then the passenger seat you know we have the curtain closed so it's ready for camp but you have this table that folds open and you can store goods in, and use it for like a laptop tray when you're driving more storage in the overhead more storage up here this has, for a 32 foot model, a lot of storage. They've even got little hooks up here. You got a spare part up there, just in case you ever need it. I think that's a slide out controller, but they're both working. But if you ever had a malfunction, you have a spare. Let's go on to the next point of interest on the motorhome. Let's take a look at the restroom. Has wall switch so the little ones can turn the lights on or the handicap or disabled. You got storage in the restroom, overhead storage, under cabinet storage. The toilet is nice and professionally cleaned uh, and it's a pedal flush. So you can flush the toilet by just st stomping the pedal. You've got nice smooth flow running water in here. Your medicine cabinet's nice and clean. It's not lived in. You're getting a pretty new motorhome. You've got towel racks right here. And then the shower is fairly large in this one. Now, somebody can be using the restroom in this floor plan with privacy while somebody else is taking a shower. However, this door can also do double as privacy for the shower. It is only a 32 foot floor plan. If someone is in the back changing and taking a shower, you isolate it like this. There's not a second door in here, but that's just one more thing to worry about that you don't have to worry about. So, the sliding 
roller doors on roller guides. This has an extra capability that the door can also flip to the center if your wider person comes in here and they need more room. You can actually line this door up, uh, release it, and it will flip open. I'm not sure how to do that with one hand. I need two hands to do it, but it will be able to do that. It's got a fancy chrome shower head. We're ready to take a shower in here. Hot and cold running water, only from the onboard supply. Nice and good flow. You do have a skylight over the restroom with a nice uh, way to let light in. It even still has the original labels on the shower. And that was professionally cleaned as well. There is storage under the booth dinette. So if you take the cushions out, there's storage underneath where you can store stuff. There's a storage drawer under this one which you can pull out and it's plastic lined so you can store stuff in there. Only up to 50 pounds under there, but it does have roller storage. There's even a little bit of room behind. You've got cup holders everywhere. There's two there. There's one on each corner of the dinette. So when you're driving, there's four cup holders in the center console, one by the driver's seat. So you've got a lot of places to put your cups and drinks. Up over here you have dash fans. Dash fans are a big deal because in the summertime you can turn those to give you an extra blast of cool flowing air. In the wintertime they'll help defrost your window when you're driving through a snowstorm. So you've got your TV master control center up here and uh, it has a signal amplifier. So let's talk about the TVs next. This is just getting over the air digital broadcast from the local TV stations. I'm in Southern California, so there's hundreds of them. I can get about a hundred or 150 channels in my area without even putting the antenna up. The signal booster is on, but uh, for example, channel 4.2, I don't need my movie light for, to look at the TV. 4.5.1, you know, they're digital channels. It's not satellite. It's not um, cable TV. This is over the air. It's very clear digital broadcast HD TV, uncompressed. It's very nice. Let's go check out channel 9. So we'll get the news right now. Over the air. It's the same for the rear bedroom TV. It has its own built-in digital tuner. So I can select the channel and I can go find the same 9.1 over the air broadcast. Now if you're in the middle of nowhere you might not get TV stations and you could hook up a satellite or hook up to the cable. These TVs will auto scan the signals to pick up whatever stations. There is a switch on the master control. Let me explain how this works so when you buy it you're gonna know how to use it. So now I need the movie light again. So this is a lesson. It's fairly universal, but on your TV control, the main TV, you've got a choice, TV antenna, cable TV, satellite DVD. If you hook up to the cable at the campground, you change it to cable TV and you go to each TV and you rescan for the local channels. But if you're on the overhead antenna, you just select TV antenna. So we're getting all these channels because we're on TV antenna. And this is set up to support a third TV for outside. So you can just hook, hook up a TV and select what settings. The signal amplifier will select channel 3 or channel 4. If you have a VCR or something hooked up, you can hook up your satellite box right here and mount your antenna on the roof. But you could also mount a satellite on the ground outside, in which case you would feed it in through here. That is possible. You have to have someone who knows what they're doing and they can hook that up. Those mini portable tailgater antennas will work as well. 
Let's take a close look at the seats condition. They're, they're not brand new, but they're overall in very good condition. There's not any obvious imperfections in the material and we'll get real close. This is an HD video. I'll try to hold the camera steady, but it doesn't have obvious imperfections. We'll take a close look at the seat material. There is uh, two or three spots where there was minor uh, touch-up repair. I think this cushion was replaced. So it's in very good condition. The countertop is in excellent shape. No cracks in it. You've got the steel cover for your burner. And the ceiling is nice and clean. Let's take a look at that. Your air conditioning vents are nice and clean. Your roof vents you have the weatherproof vent covers. It was raining here this morning. We didn't get any leaks even with the vents open because we have these Max Air weatherproof vent covers. Let's go in the restroom. Before we do the rear air conditioning vents, they're all nice and clean. And your, your bathroom fan, you do have a little fan in here which you can turn on, a little buzzy fan. And this is also can stay open all the time. So when people are using the restroom, you just leave the vent open because you have that weatherproof. Even if high winds come up, you're protected. You can leave your vent open. It's very nice. So I'm going to wrap it up. We'll take a look underneath the chassis inspection video and uh, the front seats next. So we're going to start in the driver's seat. Now this has side view cameras. I got my movie light on. So if I turn on my left turn signal, I look out and I can see the side view camera on the left side. If I turn on my right turn signal, I can see the right side view camera. Now I need to turn off my movie light here so it doesn't fall down. We have fully automatic leveling jacks down here. So if I turn on the leveling jacks, I hit all retract and the RV goes down to the ground and now it's okay for me to put it in reverse when it's in reverse we have the rear view backup camera which there's a motorhome parked directly behind me so we don't want to back into it so we know we don't want to go in reverse that automatically activates a backup camera in this RV as you activate the charge signal or go into reverse it does have auto leveling jacks. I personally prefer to manually level and the big advantage is this RV has four point leveling. The older hydraulic jack RVs only had three point leveling. And on those, the front two jack cylinders were on the same circuit and the rears were on independent. But this has four point leveling. So each jack has its own control or each direction. So if I turn it on manual, I can manually raise the rear jacks. The backup camera's gone off until they hit the ground. And you're asking me, why would you want to manually level an RV with auto leveling? Well, there's a lot of reasons. Reason number one is a, you might go to a really beautiful turnout on the side of a major roadway on your way someplace nice and be in the mood to have lunch. So some of these turnouts have a lean to the left, lean to the right. So you pull out in the turnout and your RV is leaning to the left. Well, you, you can then just raise the left side to level it off. Sometimes you may be pointing a little uphill or a little downhill. You don't want to make it perfectly level. You just want to straighten it up a little bit. It's a lot easier to level left and right in that situation than to do an auto level. So the front jacks going up, rear jacks going up, raise the left side a little bit, and the RV stays lower to the ground. So this is a 2013, it was built in January of 13. It's pretty close to being a 14 by, it's just short about five months. But it is a 2013 Thor motor coach, all the information is right here. I'm going to include photos of these labels. 
This one does have power mirrors and heated mirrors with the side view cameras are mounted on the mirror units. You've got the fog light control, you've got emergency start. That's a jump start switch. If the front battery were to be dead or the rear battery were to be dead, you have a flip-flop switch to start that. Your headlight controls is right here. Let me, the AC is working and the controls are right here. My cab light is right here to turn on my overhead light. So when you're driving along and you're just like, gosh, I can't see what I'm reading the map, you got your light switch right there. You can start your generator from right here. Just push and hold. Generator starts right up. And this does have an automatic transfer switch. Generator is now started and it gives you a confirmation light. This is your dash fan switches for left and right dash fans to turn those on. You've got a digital uh, touchscreen radio with an internal DVD player. It's a very nice radio. You can flip all through the menus and it does have a touchscreen. It's very nice. This has 18,360 miles on the odometer right now. Can you see that? This is an HD video. You should be able to see that trip has been reset but let's say um, engine hours this shows 356.8 engine hours now when you look and see how used the vehicle is you on the Ford chassis you can take the miles of 18360 divided by the engine hours 356 point eight equals the average speed of this motorhome is 51.4 miles an hour so in that amount of engine hours it's been cruising the highways 51.4 miles an hour so this hasn't idled a lot sometimes you'll get an uh, engine that has a thousand hours on it this is a very low time engine average for your passenger car is probably about 45 miles an hour but this uh, unless you live in the city but uh, this has been cruising the highways so most of those 18,000 miles was on the highways I put several thousand myself coming from California to uh, from Florida but it's been driving around other places too on the interstate highway system and it does drive really well it's very stable in the high winds and one nice thing is they give you that little corner window down there which you can peek out and see if there's a car there you have your side view camera as well and if there's any cars there you'll see it and on the outside heated mirrors you have a wide convex mirror plus the power aiming uh, straight mirror these windows do open you can release it and they have bug screens in it as well so when you're crossing a border and the border inspector wants to check if you're carrying fruit across the border or fruit flies you can open the window and say i have no fruit so we're going to go to show the outside this does have a tilt steering wheel it does have the cruise control it does work everything seems to be working you've got multiple power outlets we're going to try to keep this video uh, wrapped up as soon as possible. So let's go to the outside and take a look and I'll see if I can think of anything I forgot. At the chassis of this Thor, starting in the back, here is your tow hitch. I'm going to include pictures as well. It does have a 7-pin connector. The tow hitch itself is rated for 5,000 pound trailer weight or 500 pound ton weight. That means you can load vertically 500 pounds on it or tow 5,000 pounds. It's very clean. There's zero rust or corrosion. It has not been exposed to water or salt. It's very nice. This one has the Bilstein shocks on it. It's very clean. The brake discs look pretty good. Take a look at the brake disc if I can. That's your tire tread. Excellent tire tread. The wheels have the valve extenders so you can access to add air. There's no leaks 
from the differential on here. Just a little bit of rust spots on the heat shield for the exhaust, but the exhaust pipes itself are in excellent condition. That's your generator on the other side. All the lines and this frame and chassis look excellent. That's the catalytic converter, which this does have 50 state emissions. It has passed the California smog inspection. That's your leveling jacks. There's no sign of pitting or corrosion at all in the jack cylinders. Your springs and shocks in good condition. The exhaust, not all rusty. The transmission pan is nice and clean. No leaks from the engine. That's your front tire tread. Your wheel, nice and shiny. Your springs again. Your radiator, no leaks in the cooling system no leaks at all this has been parked here for a week before i shot this video uh, i had to make a trip and it didn't leak a bit your tire treads and condition is excellent these tires are good to last another five or even ten years they're not dry rotted at all your shocks your let's look at the slide is open that's the bottom of your slide out. It has these slide path to support it so it doesn't get chewed up. Your drive line, the transmission and your parking brake over there in good condition. Your generator. Let's see if I can open this. Generator is nice and clean. We started that from inside. Here's your generator's specifications and labels. This is a 50 amp rated generator. Your exhaust pipe for both the generator and the engine come out on the passenger side away from your campground. Your tire treads on the rear tires. Wheel simulators, tire treads again, shocks and differential from the other side. Not really any rust or corrosion at all. We are connected to shore power on the motorhome. Power cable is included. Your big gas tank. This holds about 75 gallons roughly of usable fuel and uh, it's a nice big gas tank in the back so let's wrap up this video my name is Mike Johnson give me a call 951-681-2101 951-681-2101 the 32A and that's your chassis serial number as well. Give me a call 951-681-2101. Thank you. So we're going to run in the slides to retract. So you can see I'm in action. The front slide is running in and I can also run in the back slide at the same time. Slide is in. Just a demonstration that the slides are in and we can still walk back and forth through the motorhome. Plenty of uh, floor clearance to walk around the beds. There's a lot of room in here. This is not a motorhome to be ignored. It's per 
Let's open up the slides. Extending bedroom slide and front slide and they can do it at the same time. Rears is, is extended and the front's going out. Voila, slides open.